From Tehran to Los Angeles, it's the first time an Iranian filmmaker is the winner for the best screenplay and a runner-up for the best foreign film. We're at the 2012 Los Angeles Film Critics Awards. Please tell us how you feel. I'm tremendously happy because this is an extremely technical award. The way he, he wrote it, he didn't write it in English, he wrote it in Farsi. And you know, I'm, I'm sure the people in the jury, they don't understand even a word of Farsi. But when they, they, they give this award, it means they're well connected to, to the story and it is a global story. How has your movie presented the Iranian society to the rest of the world? I don't say that this is a holistic representation of the entire Iranian society, but it's a truthful fragment of the city life that exists in Iran. And for the fragment I'm portraying in the movie, I wanted it to be real, honest, and without any exaggeration. We can never say or tell others how to look at Iranian people or vice versa. These movies are just positive tools that would simply help the understanding of one another. Especially in these days, it's heartwarming to have others hear about Iran in a more positive way. So the Golden Globes are this Sunday. What are some thoughts on that? Every time something happens to an Iranian fellow, Iranians get happy all over the world, especially these days where unfortunately Iran is not being well portrayed internationally. It makes me so happy to have people see their real selves through such positive representations. You know, the people in Iran, they're waiting for this award. We're going to thank it, take the award for them.